a photoshop workspace is a preset layout for the various elements that make up a photoshop interface now this relates to the display of panels and its arrangement this workspace can also change which tools are available in the toolbar and how the toolbar is organized custom menus and custom keyboard shortcuts can be included in a created and saved photoshop workspace now why do we need personal workspace this is because it gives us a way to customize photoshop interface for specific tasks and best match our daily operations now this is the home screen of adobe photoshop and if i want to get to the workspace of adobe photoshop i'm going to click on this icon if you want to learn more about home screen i have a link of a video in the description below please check it out after watching this video i'm going to click on this icon now this takes me to the workspace of adobe photoshop and in this workspace this is the arrangement of the toolbar the panels that we have here and also other tools which are placed in this section now if you want to identify a workspace you are working within you move to the top right corner and we have this icon which is the workspace icon and when you click on the drop down arrow you see these options here and currently essentials is checked these are other workspace you can choose from and this is set to essentials and this is the arrangement and also organization of this workspace now for you to get a clear understanding of this workspace when i choose 3d you can see that the workspace has changed when you look at this toolbar it is now in the vertical form that is one column and this is also arranged in a different format if i choose graphic and web this also change according to the graphic and web and this also comes along with its arrangement of panels and tools as well as menus when i go to this option and choose motion you can see that we have a different workspace given to the motion and if you want to work within the motion it means you have to choose the motion workspace and when i move back and choose painting this gives me the workspace of painting and if i move back and choose photography this is also the workspace of photography so play along with all these default workspace which are available you get its workspace displayed within adobe photoshop now if i move back and choose essentials now i get back to the default workspace i created these are the workspace or these are the default workspace you can choose how can we create our personal workspace this is for you to create a personal workspace that works best for you so that when you are working within adobe photoshop it makes the work very easier for you based on the kind of work or operation that is done within adobe photoshop if i move back to this arrow and click now you can see that we have new workspace and before i choose this option i am going to arrange my panels my tools the way i want them to be so that if i create that workspace that will be the workspace available anytime i want to work with adobe photoshop that will be the workspace i'm going to choose so how am i going to customize this workspace what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this arrow here and expand this panel and now i have this available now when you look at this tabs that we have here we have the color swatches gradients and patterns i don't normally work with the patterns so i'm going to select this right click and choose close and when i move below i'm going to add these properties to this pin here so i'm going to click drag and then place it here so that i have the properties panel here and also i'm going to add the adjustment layer click and drag and then I don't need the libraries i'm going to select right click and choose close and when i move below i have the layers panel click and then drag to this pin and then i'm not going to use the channels 
so I'm going to right click and choose close I'm going to delete the path right click and choose close and then I'm going to add the color to this tab as well and then I'm going to maintain the swatches and the gradient here I want this to be my panel section this is how I want the panels to be I have all these commands on this vertical bar so anytime I want to work with any of these commands I just click and that is going to expand click collapse click it expands so this is the layers panel so if I want to collapse this panel I just click so this is how I want the panel section to be and I'm going to maintain the two colon for the two bar and let's assume that I am done with the customization of this interface or this workspace we have a lot of options we can do we can even go to the windows tab choose workspace and choose keyboard shortcut and if I have this window I can customize some keyboard shortcut in this window and when I save this particular workspace that is going to take effect so this is also a preference to you if you want to change any of these keyboard shortcuts but personally I want to maintain all the default shortcuts which I am familiar with so if you want to change the shortcut you can also move to this window change them and save it along with your workspace so let's assume that I have done all these modifications here I'm going to click on ok and then now I want to save this particular workspace so what I'm going to do is move back to this arrow and choose new workspace and I'm going to give a name to this workspace and as I said earlier if you have any customization or modification to your keyboard shortcuts you can check these boxes if you have any customization to your toolbar you can check if you have any customization to your menus you can check now when it comes to customization of toolbar I also have a video that explain that and I will drop that video in the description below so if you have any customization applied to your toolbar that particular option is also going to take effect when you save this workspace so let's assume that this is the name that we have for this workspace and I'm going to click on save now when you move back to the workspace icon this is the current workspace selected if I choose photography this will change to photography but if I move back and choose the one that I just created then this will take me back to the created workspace that we had in Adobe Photoshop you can choose any of this workspace so if I want to work with the 3d I'm going to choose 3d if I want to work with photography I'm going to work with photography and if I want to delete this workspace I'm going to click on this choose delete workspace and I have that option displayed here and then I'm going to click on delete if you don't have that option here you can click on the drop down arrow and you're going to have a list of created workspace you choose the one that you want to delete then you choose delete you have this option you can choose yes and now that workspace is deleted when you move back to the workspace we don't have the created workspace here and if you want to create a new workspace you can easily do that in this pane so this is how to customize workspace create a workspace and also to delete a workspace so if you want to have your personal workspace i believe this video is giving out a full explanation and practical experiment on how to have your personal workspace in adobe photoshop hope this video is of helpful please like share and also comment please comment in the comment section let me hear from you and i'm always ready to collaborate with you thank you for watching this video and we shall meet in our next video